Hello everyone, this is Brian from Open Source Automation. Um, this video I'm going to go over the installation process to install a client machine into your open source automation uh, setup. Um, the first video I did just uh, outlined how to install the server um, and the client setup is slightly different so I thought I'd have a video for that as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the install. Got your license agreement. We're going to set up the client. Pick your destination folder and install. It's going to do the same sort of thing. You need to install .NET 4.0. Um, so while it's installing that, I will just let it run and I'll be back in a bit. All right, we're back. Uh, .NET 4.0 has finished installing. And now it just quickly installs everything it needs for open source automation. Um, and now what's going to happen is you should see a pop-up that, that will ask for the IP address and port of the MySQL server that you have installed on your server machine for open source automation. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in. Um, the default port for MySQL is 3306 if you didn't do any special changes to it. Click OK. Um, you get the same sort of pop-up with the server, uh, whether or not you want to start the service automatically now that we're done installing. Click OK. And there we have it. It's finished. Um, now there's one additional thing that I need to show you as far as setting up um, a client machine. Now in order for the client service to interact, um, to communicate with the server service, um, the way Windows services are set up, they're not able to communicate the way we have communication set up via the um, system account that runs Windows services. Um, so one thing you need to do is set up the um, the account that runs the open source automation service. So I'll show you how to do that. So open up your Windows services. Uh, find the OSA client service. Right click. Go to properties. Go to the logon tab. Now when any Windows service is installed, it automatically uses the local system account to run, um, but that doesn't have the proper permissions in order to communicate um, via uh, the method that we're doing in order to, con to connect with the server service. So we're going to change it to use whatever account that you use um, to log in to your machine. and click OK. <clears throat> and then you're going to need to restart the service. So I suppose you probably wouldn't want to start the service automatically um, right after you install because you're going to need to restart it anyway after you update the permissions. So just stop it and click Start. And there we go. Um, one thing to mention is um, I kind of went through it quickly. You, when you put in your user account credentials um, and the properties of the service, um, you need to put in a password. So if your Windows account does not have a password, um, then this won't work. You need to make sure your Windows logon um, has a password associated with it. Um, and then from here, um, similar thing with the um, starting the manager and uh, viewing your installed plugins with the client um, set up. With the client we only include the speech plugins since all the other plugins that are included with the server are basically um, server plugins that uh, you wouldn't really need to have on more than one machine. Um, so there you have it. That's the install process for setting up a client for open source automation. Thanks for watching.